I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc and welcome to a traveler's notebook setup. So this is a little different because instead of showing you one of uh, my notebooks like this one, my little to go planner that I actually just re kind of worked on. I'm going to have to show you guys that one soon. But instead of showing you one of my videos or one of my videos, one of my notebooks, I'm showing you this notebook. And this is one that I have made, um, not the actual cover, but I've made pretty much everything in it. It is going to be for sale in my shop. It's a full kit. And then all of the digital, this, that, the other things that are in here, the, the insert, um, there's a couple inserts that aren't even in here that'll be in the shop. The, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Something pretty is on my computer. <laughs> the vellums, the die cuts, all of that will be for sale in the shop. So today we are just going to do a flip through. So this particular notebook, it's a B6 size and it will be for sale in my shop, the physical notebook, mail it to you, you can do whatever you want with it, that whole thing. It is completely set up with all the little bells and whistles um, and I'm kind of in love with it if I do say so myself. So we're just going to go through it and I will show you everything that I've put together. Um, you can use it however you like. I do have it set up as a cruise notebook because I just got back from a cruise and I really love scrapbooking while I'm on vacation. So I've put this together as kind of a scrapbook. Um, this is my cruise notebook that I use myself and as you can see I have all my little bits of memories and everything. I actually have a post up on my blog about this. I'll link that below too if I remember. But you know I put in all the little bits and pieces of places that I've been and things that we've done. I have my little sprocket so I put pictures in and it's just it's a lot of fun to scrapbook kind of on the go. I've put in uh, maps and this and I mean you can tell there's just like 50 bajillion things in here so essentially you can do whatever you like with this little notebook but that is kind of what I put it together with the intention of being as a cruise notebook so let's get started so on the inside cover here um, and I will list it with the cover or without the cover so if you have a b6 traveler's notebook that you want to put this setup in you could um i i will ship it without the cover if that is what you're looking for the cover itself is nothing special it is just a little cream colored traveler's notebook that i picked up on clearance at michael's um to show you guys how it looks and all set up and if that is something that you're looking for, it isn't bad. It would be fine for a cruise. It looks really pretty in here. Um, but just so you know, it's nothing super, it's not my highest quality, like traveler's notebook. Like I said, I just picked it up in the clearance section. It's not like one of my Pele studios. But anyways, let's start looking at the pretty things. So in this front pocket, we have um, some of the die cuts that are available. So this little die cut is one of the ones in the kit. So is the little bow die cut. You have a journaling card here in the pocket. Journaling card here. We have two paper clips. One that has a little shell and one that I made that's a little bow clip. Um, we also have the little cute mermaid sticker here. I love that. That's just a kind of like a die cut sticker. We have a little doily. This right here is actually a washi card. So you can, and of course it's gonna be a pain in the rear right now while I'm showing it. But you can put whatever washies you want on here. I started you off with just two fun kind of summery ones that go together. 
And normally it goes in and out of here real easy, but you know, since we're on camera, it's not going to. <laughs> but I just tucked that back in there and I think it looks really cute layered. Um, you know, if you use your washi every five seconds, probably don't want to layer it quite that much, but I don't. Um, this is actually a digital die cut that I've put in here with some holographic um, translucent kind of sticker paper over it that's really pretty. Then we have another journal card. We have another little die cut, two of those. Those are in the little pack. And my favorite, the little mermaid cat. And this is actually a little metal kind of clip-on sticker. All right, so we've just got this die cut um, embellished journaling card that I've paper clipped to the first piece of vellum. And the first piece of vellum you can see here is just these really pretty kind of oceany dots. Okay, so then we get to the first notebook. You can use this for whatever you want. It is just um, a grid here. Um, so the first notebook I have if I do say so myself, the prettiest paper clip in the entire world. Do you see that? I am very proud of this paper clip. I really almost want to keep it, but it looks so pretty in the notebook. That's what I made it for. So it is for sale with the notebook. Like I said, if you buy the notebook, whoever gets it, you get all the pretties. So you'll get that paper clip, these two, and the bow clip. So that's four paper clips. You also get three of these little guys. I'll show you. And these are just to help you flip to your pages. I think they are so cute. This one has a little seahorse on it. And so I've just kind of put them in here um, on the th three, three of the four different inserts. You obviously can put them wherever you need, but that just makes it real easy to flip right to the page that you're looking for. So then we have a bookmark. It's just a little bookmark. It says today at the top. It's glittery and fun. So you can put that in there. That's your grid insert. And then we have the, oh look. I'm putting things in funky. You gotta pull it to the edge there. All right. So then we have the leather bookmark and I just have it looped over the first insert and it has a little starfish and then just some fun pretty like sea glass and pearl kind of beads and you can loop that over whichever insert you like but that just helps you keep your place lots of people do things differently you know I know a lot of people use the top clips to kind of keep their place some people use bookmarks some people use the side ones I use the side ones so I've included all of those options just so you can organize it kind of however you like. This is on a leather strap that's really thick and nice, so it is not going to break. And then you can just organize it however you like, and you have all the little pretties. So here's again the back of that first sheet of vellum, and I watercolored this little chipboard piece. I'm gonna have a blog post up about that if you're looking to make one yourself, but of course, like I said, all of this will be for sale in this little guy. So I put this little mermaid sticker. He's, she's kind of a 3D, you can see there. And she looks like she's sitting down. So I thought, oh my gosh, how cute would that be on that little <laughs> chipboard word? I just love it. I mean, orange is not my jam, but look how cute that is, guys. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to sell these every month <laughs> because I just want to keep them. <laughs> All right, so then we have dashboard that is my all-time favorite paper this is just scrapbook paper it's the heavy cardstock from Hobby Lobby and this is my favorite pattern of all time it is the pretty teals and blues and pinks and silvers that's obviously glittered um, and it goes beautifully with all these light watercolory colors so we've got the dashboard just got a little die cut down here we have the prettiest vellum. It is a turtle. Do you see that turtle? I'm sorry, but I just think that is so pretty. 
and then we get to the cover of the first insert and it says adventure awaits so this is the cruise um, insert we've got a little table of contents and you can use this however you like of course if you buy the digital file it will have all of the sheets individually so you can print out I mean you could print out an entire book of just this if you wanted but I do have it laid out so that if you want to have this notebook exactly like this you just have to hit print and I will actually do a video later on how to print that so here's the first page it is your cruise schedule I did set it up for a seven day cruise um, so if you have less than that or more than that you can always you know put a journaling card over that or write some notes or something but if you're going on a seven day cruise you are all set if you're going on a 14 day cruise you know just print two of these then we have our little packing list and look at those little bullet points yep they're starfish I just I don't know I fall in love with this every time I look at it and then the rest of the book is set up pretty much the same way um, you have your day one you put your date and you can write you know journaling kind of where you went what you did I did include two activity sheets so you've got your date location activity and then we get to day two and each of the days has a slightly different pattern just for interest of course and then again you have two activity sheets so for say we went to Barbados one day so I could write all about Barbados and while we were there we um, we went swimming with turtles so I could write all about the turtles here and then after that we um, hung out on the beach under an umbrella and there were all oh, there were beautiful horses going through the ocean I really just wanted to steal one and jump on and one of those banana boats and it kept throwing all of its riders off so I could write about that on the second activity or if you're going to a show a lot of times of course the cruises have shows at night you could write about the show whatever your two activities are now I'm a hoarder and I scrapbook a lot on my trips so I have like six or seven activity sheets per day I only included two because I think the average person does not scrapbook every little thing they do like I do but maybe I'm wrong and so since it is a digital insert you know you can print as many activity sheets as you want per day so I'm just gonna flip through um, the days here I love the seashell so that you can see kind of what they look like I love that all I need is vitamin C that's so cute I love this starfish I just want to put him everywhere and then this is the end of the book so you could put I don't know I like to kind of wash in your tickets your boarding passes all that kind of fun stuff so I did put a little bit of blank space here at the back of course the end of that turtle let's be mermaids I love this and a little another one of those holographic die cuts from the kit so then we go to our second third insert this is the third one and it is this beautiful if I say so myself I love it um, shell vellum and I've just put this cute little passport with a couple die cuts clipped on there I think this would be so much fun to kind of record you know where you're going what you're doing if you decide to print off I mean you could print off two or three of these cruise inserts and use one for each of your cruises and then put in here you know like cruise one cruise two keep track that way got a little doily I love this this has glitter all over it and it's just like coral beautiful coral it's so much fun and then we've got a little 3d die cut sticker that is not in the kit that's from Hobby Lobby so if you buy the one that's fully put together it's not just the insert and the vellum and the die cuts and everything it is all the little extras um, we've got the little coordinating bow clip the world is calling and I must go so this is just a blank um, insert and again it's got some of those fun little sea glass danglies 
then we come to the end. The only part I don't love about this cover, since it is, like I said, just from the clearance bin, is that the elastics are a little funky. They're not bad funky, but if this was like your everyday carry, I could see it getting a little frustrating because it doesn't hold your inserts flush up to the top. I almost thought, you know, well, maybe these are the wrong size inserts, but they're the ones, they're the size that came with it. I, I double checked, you know, obviously I put different inserts in here than came with it. I've coordinated it all, but yep, they're the same size, so I don't know. But for a cruise notebook, it is not bad at all because you are not going to be cruising 365 days a year. But even if not, if you have a pretty notebook, you can obviously easily transfer this. That's the, you know, the beauty of a traveler's notebook is, you know, you want to print out a, I don't know, you want to print out three of those cruise inserts. You just lift this out and stick it in. Alright, so here's the back of that shell vellum, and I've put a little uh, watercolored beach. This is actually like cork board on here. <laughs> you see that? That is so funny. And then we have another one of those cute little mermaids. This one looks like she has a little attitude. It makes me think this beach should say something else that uh, rhymes with beach a little bit, but is not beach. Then we have this beautiful, oh, I love this. I want to put this in like all of my notebooks. It is a glitter dashboard and oh my God, I love it. We've got the pretty little notes. Uh, bookmark, I could not think of the word back there. We've got our last vellum and this one, as you can see, is just that fun kind of paint splattery, seashelly, fun colored vellum. We've got our final insert. Oh, the places you will go. Got our last little paper clip here. And this one's just got some fun pearls and danglies. Pearls are so beachy. I mean, I love pearls anyways, because pearls are my birthstone, but they're very beachy. And we've got our last little bit. We've got the end, uh, last piece of that vellum. So pretty. And we've got a little car with the little map and our last little die cut. And I just thought that was a sweet, like, driving off into the sunset for your, your final book. So that is it. That is the full notebook. I will leave a link below um, to the shop so that if you wanted to pick up any of these inserts or the little die cuts or the vellums, you can. And, of course, like I said, there's only one. But if you are looking for this specific notebook and you are on top of it, you may just be able to grab it. I cannot wait. I even bought beautiful new rose gold bubble mailers because I'm like, this notebook is too pretty. It needs to go in a pretty bubble mailer. <laughs> is that weird? Does other people do that? I don't know, but check it out. Tell your friends uh, and let me know what you think. Like I said, I've been doing traveler's notebooks for myself for forever, but this is the first one that I've put together to sell. I'm in love with it, but leave a comment below. Tell me what you would like to see. Um, I think I'm going to do a wedding one next. Maybe a unicorn themed one. You know, just kind of different fun kind of themes. But this was a fun one. It definitely, I mean, it's definitely fun for a cruise. If you're not going on a cruise, of course, I do have the matching inserts for this that are just the weekly on four pages um, that you can use. And I also have notes inserts available in the shop. So you could easily, you know, take out this cruise insert and put in a notes insert or put in that week on four pages and use this as your daily planner. I mean... I'll be honest, I have a lot of the same stuff in my daily one because it is just so pretty. I mean, look at that little mermaid. I loved these so much I had to create a little dashboard for myself, except I have Tink. So anyways, hope you loved it. I know I had a blast putting this together, and yeah, can't wait to see what you guys think. Oh. I forgot all about this little paper clip. I keep meaning to put it in here. So let's do that really quick together. Maybe we'll put it here. I think that'll be visible. 
yeah, that's cute. So you get an extra paper clip. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day, y'all. Bye. Okay, guys, I know I said that I was done and I said goodbye and everything, but then last night I decided I just had to add one more thing because the front of this looks very naked and, yeah, no, that's just not going to fly. So I looked and I decided that I have the little bow here and the little flower and we were going to put a flower swag on the front. I had couple of these little starfish which match perfectly with the die cuts and the little bookmarks and everything so I created this flower swag to go on the front it matches the little flower and the little starfish and I just I think it's so pretty so you can see the back here just has a little velcro tab and you can put it right over your elastic easy peasy and there we go I think it turned out really pretty and I think it's just the perfect scale and the perfect color scheme I had the sea foamy and the cream felt but I had to send my brother to the store for the navy and he sent me like pictures all these different blues he's like this one this one this one this one says royal blue this one says uh neon blue i don't know which one this is actually the royal blue but it looks pretty darn close to the navy that we used um in the rest of the planner so i will grab this little guy real quick so you can see that they all match and they are so cute i cannot wait i think i'm gonna be like creating these for every planner ever because I just I love them uh, okay so there we go that is really the end now I'm not doing anything else for this planner there are matching tabs um, that you can d download their digital download tabs but I'm not gonna go ahead and put these in here with that because whoever buys this I don't know what they're gonna wa want the tabs to say so are looking for tabs they'll be in the shop but this is all ready to go now I am editing the pictures and it will be up in the shop this afternoon so thanks for watching y'all bye